We're excited to announce that Vault 1.14 and the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes is now generally available. We will be covering some new PKI enhancements, some updates to the Vault agents supporting environment variables, and of course, the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes. To talk more in depth about these exciting launches, I'm here in the HashiCorp HQ studio with Artie, who works here at HashiCorp as a senior manager on the product management team for Vault. I really appreciate you being here. Jordan, thanks so much for having me. There's a lot of exciting details to share around the most recent Vault 1.4 release and the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes, which is a key feature that we just launched. So before we dive into the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes, I want to take a quick minute to give the audience a bit of an overview of what Vault is. Vault enables you to harness identity brokering, to manage access to your secrets and protect sensitive data in your organization. When you're adopting multiple clouds, systems, and different endpoints, you want to make sure that the identity that's accessing this sensitive data is trusted. That's why developers use and trust Vault to handle all of this for them. Over 70% of the top 20 U.S. banks trust Vault to handle their sensitive data, and we're currently servicing trillions of secrets each year for thousands of different organizations. Developers are using Vault to do things like database credential rotation, automated certificate distribution and renewal for TLS and PKI, and data encryption and tokenization of things like credit card numbers and so much more. The reason why so many developers love using Vault is the rich and broad ecosystem that surrounds the product. We have over 100 partners and integrations supporting all of the major cloud providers and partner plugins, supporting cloud IAM, OIDCs, and of course, Kubernetes. That's right. There's such a large amount of community support surrounding Vault. Part of our job as part of the product team is to listen to our Vault users and try to implement updates that make overall improvements to their experience. We have a lot of new features released in Vault 1.14, and one that I want to cover is enhancements to PKI. Vault is used quite heavily in private PKI environments. It is very critical to Vault customers but running PKI at scale is a challenge. With Vault 1.14, customers can automate certificate lifecycle management using industry standard ACME model and will no longer need to use Vault APIs to manage certificate lifecycle for their private PKI scenarios. Well, that's great. And it's awesome to see all the PKI improvements that are helping customers securely run their businesses. Prior to 1.14, I remember that with a Vault agent, you would have to store secrets manually to a file. And I saw in the release notes that we added support for environment variables with the Vault agent. Would you be able to share a little bit more about this? Yes, that's correct. We've been hearing for quite some time now of the need for more developer-friendly ways to provide secrets with the Vault agent. Previously, developers had to use the console template or end console to help integrate Vault with their existing solutions. In release 1.14, we've added support for the Vault agent to provide secrets as environment variables to a command, which simplifies the workflow for developers significantly. Well, it's great to see all of the cool things coming out in Vault 1.14, but I have to say one of the most exciting launches is the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes. Often when we think about Vault being used in production environments, one of the most common ones that it's used with is Kubernetes. So would you be able to share a little bit more about how this operator works? You are absolutely right, Jordan. Vault is quite popularly used with Kubernetes, and this launch is game-changing for the developers out there that are using Vault and Kubernetes together. In the past, we've had things like Helm installers so that you can easily deploy Vault into a Kubernetes environment and operate it. We also have a Kubernetes secrets engine, which allows you to dynamically generate and rotate access keys. We have had many ways for apps running in Kubernetes to authenticate their workloads and fetch secrets from Vault. One of the challenges that we've seen in these prior integrations between Vault and Kubernetes, which can be via an agent sidecar running alongside a pod or a CSI driver, is that they require having some level of Kubernetes configuration to allow secrets to be fetched from Vault. 
While these work fine, as you can see, there is the additional overhead for developers in that they need to add additional configuration to ensure that secure secrets introduction works properly, or even the added resource overhead with sidecars per pod. That's why we developed the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes. After we released the beta version of the Vault Secrets Operator earlier this year, it got wildly popular and we got great feedback in terms of it simplifying the Kubernetes experience for developers. And we released the generally available version of this tool mid-June around Hashites. So what's different with the Vault Secrets Operator for Kubernetes? As you saw earlier, the previously existing integrations require overheads of a sidecar per Kubernetes pod or an app modification that is needed to fetch secrets from Vault and keep them rotated. The Vault Secrets Operator has a single controller that interfaces with Vault. It fetches secrets that apps need from Vault and syncs them into native Kubernetes objects. So pods can now use native Kubernetes mechanisms to access secrets. The Vault Secrets Operator ensures that this, this secret is kept rotated and in sync with Vault and insulates the application from all the Vault complexity. What's great is that this is supported with all Vault offerings, including Vault OSS, Vault Enterprise, and HCP Vault. Well, this is exciting, and thanks so much for diving so deep into this release. Would you be able to show us a demo of this working in action? Absolutely. That's the fun part, isn't it? To see how it actually works. I'll show you a demo where we'll see the YAML files. We'll see how the secrets that the Vault Secrets Operator has fetched uh, are kept in sync and rotated, and how we can trigger an application pod restart to make sure that the pods are using the most up-to-date secrets. So in my pre-configured setup, in the top right window, you can see a Kubernetes cluster that I've configured. We have the demo namespace, which has the application pods running that the secrets are injected into. You can see the vault secrets operator running, and you can see a Postgres and vault cluster running locally as well. Let's jump into Vault to look at the pre-populated secrets. You can see the path at which they are configured with a one-minute TTL, and this is for ease of demo only. Let's look at the configuration of the YAMLs. The app deployment YAML references the demo namespace, and you can see three replicas configured with a rolling update strategy and we will pull the database password username into an environment variable. The auth YAML shows the Kubernetes auth method configured for this demo, but we support many other auth methods with the wall secrets operator. And let's look at the secrets YAML now. You can see it references the demo namespace and the mount, the path, and the rolling restart targets configured uh, for the purposes of this demo. So now that we've seen the configuration, let's go and see what's happening inside that demo namespace. So the pods are restarting, which means we've caught this at the end of a rotation. So let's come back to it. Let's look at the secrets. These are the current secrets that the Vault Secrets Operator has fetched. And you saw that we had a one minute TTL configured. So they should rotate pretty soon. Uh, we'll come and see what that uh, changes. So let's see if the secrets have changed now. And yes, the secrets have rotated. And the rotated secrets trigger a rolling restart update of the three pods. So as you can see, all three application pods are back up and running and they are using the most up-to-date secrets now. Great, well, that was an awesome demo. Where should all the developers out there go to get started? I recommend visiting the link on your screen, which has a blog. It should have all that you need to know about the Wall Secrets Operator. Well, sounds great. Thank you so much again for coming in. Um, it was great having you. 
Thank you for having me here, Jordan. 